Shalom. Invisible Barriers. When one of my teachers wanted to emphasize that he disapproved of something, he would pound the table with his fists and exclaim, Loi mitten olaf. The English equivalent would be no with a capital N. The origin of this Yiddish phrase is that the Hebrew word lo can imply either no or yes. If it's spelt lamad alef, it means no. If it's spelt lamad vav, it means it is his or even yes. Our parasha this week describes the potential sale of property. It refers to the house in the city and goes on to say asher lo choma. You may be familiar with a feature of the Torah where a word is written one way, but it is always pronounced another way, called kri uchtiv. The phrase asher lo choma is one of these. The word lo is written with an aleph. We read it as if it had a vav. That is, we write it as the house in the city that has no wall, but we read it as the house in the city that has a wall. Why the double entendre here in our portion? Is there any deeper significance? Rabbi Joseph B. Soloveitchik suggests that the Torah is giving us a profound lesson on the significance of walls in Jewish history. Often the most powerful walls are the ones you do not see. And that it is, do not read the verse to mean that there isn't a wall at all. There will be times and circumstances where there is a wall, only you cannot see it. When the Romans in 70 CE destroyed our temple, well, I might have expected that this would signal the end of the Jewish community. However, when those walls came down, spiritual walls remained and have continued to bind us as a people ever since. Throughout the past almost 2,000 years, until 1948, we did not have the ties of land and physical walls to bind us together and to protect us. Yet it was the unseen spiritual walls that have guarded us as a nation and has forged our identity. Says Rabbi Soloveitchik, Superficially, Jewish history may seem to be unwalled, insecure, but this is only an illusion. Indeed, if one studies Jewish history, one must of necessity read the verse with a vav, Jewish destiny is protected by a mighty wall. As we face a more uncertain world in a post-pandemic era and the war in Ukraine, we need to be as alert and as responsive as we can to the risks that are around us. At the same time, we pray that the Almighty will also continue to provide us with walls of protection to keep us safe. Shabbat Shalom.